Hi everyone! Today we're gonna still look at um continuation video um for this topic polynomial interpolation. If you recall from my previous previous video, a polynomial can be written in this form: a naught plus a one x plus a 2x squared plus a 3x to the cube plus a n x to the power of n. Now this is a polynomial of degree n. So if the question asks you to find a certain value of um, polynomial for the given x provided you already know a naught and a n, you can easily find it by substituting the value. So for example, this is a polynomial for degree 3 given by 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus 1. Okay, now the question said evaluate P2. Now, how do you do this? If the question asks you to find the value of the polynomial for x equals to 2. So, I'm sure everybody will substitute x as 2 to this polynomial. Minus 5, 2 squared plus 1. What do you get? 8 times 3, 24. 24 minus 24 plus 1, 5. Okay, so this is the value for P2. Now how if there is another way to use this? I mean another way to solve this is using Horner scheme. It's very easy and you can do it very fast. So for example for this polynomial so let's let's look at the introduction first. What um how do you use Horner scheme? Okay, so example, you have this polynomial for um, degree 3 given as um, a naught plus a1x plus a2x squared plus a3x3. Now, first, to use a uh, Horner scheme, do like a table here. So the highest degree, the coefficient a3, you will write in the first column a3 and then reduce it up to a0. So we have a3, a1, a2, sorry, reduce, not increasing, reduce. So a3, a2, a1, a0. Okay, and then we write um, a coefficient b, such as b, B three, B two, B one, B not. Okay, now we have a multiply with whatever x value here. So I'm going to write it in red. So this is whatever given here. Okay, so what this gives me? So if you look at a three, so we let a3 equals to b3. This is how we start with. To find b2, b3 times with x. So we have xb3. So my b2 is, now I plus it, a2 plus xb3. I hope you're with me. Now, b2 times with this x will give me x b2. Now to find b1, I hope you're getting it, a1 plus x b2. Are you with me? So, what is this? This will be b1 times x this is b1 times x, so x b1. 
Therefore, B naught. B naught equals to A naught plus X B1. Is it too complicated for you? Let's look at one example. I mean the same example that I've shown earlier on. So we have Px equals to 3x3 minus 5x2 plus 1. Okay, you want to find the value for P2. Okay, so we need to arrange it with the highest degree. So this is already in the highest degree. So we can write this as, okay, we have 3. It's my A3. A2 is minus 5. A1 is 0. A0 is 1. Okay. Now, we don't know what this value here, right? But we know that A3 equals to B3. A3 equals to B3. So whatever here is equals to here. That is my B3. Now, what is the value we want to find for x is 2. So we have to multiply with 2 here. Okay, now let's see. 3 multiply with 2. 3 times 2, 6. Then I add that. Minus 5 plus 6. 1 times 2, 2. 0 plus 2, 2. 2 times 2, 4. 1 plus 4, 5. There you go. So your answer, your final answer, P2 equals to 5. Which is similar if you substitute the value of x equals to 2 to this polynomial. It will be the same thing. So Honda scheme is easier if you have a very long polynomial and you prefer to do it very quickly. Okay. For example, Show you another example um, with the degree four polynomial. So let's look at another example. So we have p x equals to two x four plus five x three plus four x two minus three x minus nine. Okay, what the question one? The question one is to evaluate for p negative 2. Okay, so you can substitute x equals to minus 2 into this equation and find the final answer. Or you can use Honor's scheme. Let's use Honor's scheme. So the highest power, highest degree is um, 4 here. So we have 2. Next is 5. 4 minus 3. And nine. So you have to rearrange your polynomial from the highest to the lowest degree. Else you cannot use Honor's scheme. You will have a wrong answer for that. Now you want to find x which is minus 2. Okay, so let's do this. So b3 or b4. b4 here will be the exactly 2 here. Okay, so 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Add them. 5 plus minus 4. 1 times minus 2, add them, 4 plus minus 2, 2 times minus 2, add them, minus 7. Minus 7 times minus 2 is 14. Sorry, I forgot minus here. Okay, just be careful. Minus 9 here. Okay, now minus 9 plus 14 is 5. Okay, so what's your answer? Your final answer is P minus 2. The value for the polynomial when x is minus 2 is 5. Now, in many cases, this is also known as the remainder for the polynomial. So, the remainder will, be giving, will give you the final solution. Okay, so it's not that difficult, right? Now, there's also another way to find the... Um, the value by using a long division. So, um, I, I want you to just um, uh, look into my lecture note if you have them on page 195. Okay. It uses a long division approach to find the value 
of x. Okay, so I can I can I can uh, show you actually because I have time. <clears throat> the question is something like this. Um, write down the quotient and the remainder. When Px equals to 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus 1 is divided by x minus 2. Okay, what is this? What do they want? Quotient and remainder. So, what does it mean? Okay, so let me show you. Since I have time. So we have 3x cubed minus 5x2 plus 1 divided by x minus 2. Now this is long division approach. Okay, so I just divide it. Okay, what gives me how can I sub how can I subtract 3x3? I must multiply with 3x2. So 3x2 times x will give me 3x3 and then 3x squared times minus 2. So I have negative. <coughs> okay, negative 6x2. Okay, so how do you do division? Long division. So minus them. This minus this give me 0. This minus will be plus. So minus 5 plus 6 will be x2. And then this comes down. Now I will plus with x so that I can cancel out this one. So x times x will be x2. x times minus 2x will be minus 2x. Okay, that gives me now subtract. It will give me 0, 1 plus 2x. So you have... 1 plus 2x, so I can write this as 2x plus 1. Okay, now to cancel out 2x, I need to multiply by 2 plus 2. This will give me 2 times x will give me 2x. 2 times minus 2 will be minus 4. Now divide it. This will be 0. 1 plus 4 is 5. So, we have, this is called, remainder. And this part here is what you call quotient. Okay, so, <clears throat> or I should say, this is the, this is the division. Okay, so the, you can also use long division to um, find the value for p, for x equals to 2. Okay, so that's all for today. Um, I'll see you in your next, in my next video. Bye for now.